there are different mega trends going on uh, in in the world, including to Africa, and and and, and we all are looking for sustainable growth. Uh, uh, but at the same time, part of that there's urbanization going on, so people are more moving from the countryside to the cities, and and the bigger cities are built. Both uh, also the industrialization uh, are, in, uh, are develop, developing the manufacturing side is very important of, for Finland, but also for African countries, including Zambia. But there in that areas, both uh, in, 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 in cities and, and industries, we need the digitalization, which are taking minor leaps forward, especially uh, during the COVID-19 times. Uh, we have uh, learned to do uh, many things in, in a virtual way. And uh, this is the new future. At the same time, we also hope that, that, that the middle class is, is, is growing and, and it's rising and, and, and people have better prosperity, which means that they, they, they hopefully have a better welfare. They, are, they have more uh, time and, and, and also uh, money to spend on healthy issues and also the education uh, are very critical in, in, in many countries. And of course, tourism is also growing uh, around the world, including to Africa as such. And then, and, and then uh, uh, we need to be also more sustainable. Also, so, Somebody's mic is now open, so there's some echoes, but we need to be uh, more uh, sustainable uh, using less resources with a better outcome. It comes to the low CO2 emissions. It, 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 it means that we have to use less energy, less raw materials, less water. So these are, these are the mega trends which are going on in, in the world. And to be honest, if you consider Finnish companies, they are exactly offering solutions to the su sustainable growth in urbanization, it's not an uh, accident uh, that, that Kone, uh, Kone is, for example, building e elevators also in Africa. In uh, industrialization, companies like, like uh, Wärtsilä or Valmet are helping uh, companies to do better, uh, better uh, sustainability. And also in digitalization, companies starting from Nokia and others are helping and supporting the companies all around the world. And also in education and health technology, the Finns are the ones who are offering different kind of new solutions and also offering those for Jambia as such. So uh, I could conclude that the Finland really offers solutions for handling and tackling the megatrends which different countries all around the world are facing, including the Zambia. Next one, please. So there, here are just example of the Finnish companies, the Finnish technologies, just to show you that 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 we are producing different kind of products and services from the uh, lesser boats to the highest technological innovation related to the energy or industrial procedures and 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 and, and uh, uh, weather weather forecasting and that kind of issues. And of course, we are typical uh, pulp and paper country with producing different kind of materials from the pulp and 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 uh, forest. Uh, products as such. Next one, please. But you have to remember that, that our history is, 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 as an independent country is only 100 years old. Uh, so to be honest, that, that if you look back to finish 100 years uh, of independence, uh, so, so uh, uh, we were pretty poor country in the beginning and it was mainly agricultural country. Our, our uh, economy was only based on the agricultural issues. So so it, it's possible and Finnish example is a good one for also for African countries to show that, 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 that it's possible to come and develop your country from the agricultural society to be that kind of high level and knowledge and, and know-how and technological society as, as such. So, and, and Finland is a good example of that. And one of the key issues which, which is behind this is, of course, education. Education has been a very, very important role of, of developing the Finnish know-how and people's understanding. And also uh, the society, although we have some internal war in the beginning of our independence, we are quite united as a nation. And, 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 and keep everybody on, on board is very relevant for our success as such. Of course, we have faced some, some, some challenges during the Second World War and, and so on, but we have managed to, to, to find our way. And now I would uh, conclude that Finland is on the top of the Europe when it concerns the economical terms in general as, 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 as that. Next, please. Uh, also, uh, 
despite of uh, our gray weathers and cold winters, uh, we are also r rank according to the United Nations, the happiest county. Uh, and what the happiness mean? I think that behind the happiness is that that, that because because of the education, everybody has chance uh, in our society to become successful. And and, and because of the good uh, healthcare and that kind of uh, issues, people feel pretty safe. Also during the COVID-19 times, we have trusted on the public health care and also how our society can be functional. So the happy, happiness is is, is is great issue, but there's concrete issues behind that. And, and that's, that's is, is re very relevant also for the businesses and, and innovations, because if the people feel happy, they might be more innovative and they are also very keen and committed to, to push, push their own businesses forward. Next one. So one example is that that we are also among the most innovative counties as such. So in the beginning, I mentioned that we are engineering driven economy as such. And definitely, of course, that means that we will make many innovation. But this also showed that that when we rank us uh, on, on a global scale, we are, have been pretty successful here. So it, we are very innovative county as such. And if you look the wide uh, selection of the innovations, products, technologies, which Finns are offering to the rest of the world, it's quite amazing bunch of, 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 of technology which we have available also for you and other countries as such. Next one. Remember, although the county is geographically pretty big, we have only five and uh, five point five million inhabitants. So, so, so uh, this means that 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 we have tackled this challenge with a big, uh, wide country and and and, 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 and small uh, population. And of course, also in Finland, we discuss about how about rural areas and how we handle how we handle different kind of challenges there. But now during the COVID-19 times, we have noticed that thanks to the technology, thanks to the remote uh, working, thanks to the remote education, uh, it doesn't matter where you are living, what you are doing, you may have uh, access to excellent job and also education. And uh, this is one of the lessons that we have learned from COVID-19 and, and this uh, lessons we would also like to share with you. So it doesn't need to be the case that everybody is living in the capital Helsinki or Lusaka if we are using the virtual and digital way of, 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 uh, of handling our society, education and, and, and way of doing businesses. So, so the example of Finland give also hope for everybody that, hey, you can do it in a virtual way and keep the whole country in a way in a pretty good uh, uh, and, and well situation as such and, 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 and share also prosperity all along the, the county as such. Next. Next, please. Uh, sustainability uh, has been also a driver for Finland, uh, for, also for the businesses. Uh, although we have been active in pulp and paper, and you may uh, imagine that there might be some challenges relating to the environmental issues, but today the pulp and paper industry are one of the most uh, cleanest ones, so they do not pollute the water, they do not pollute the forests as, as such. So sustainability uh, is, is one of the corner issues which the Finnish companies are also facing. Internally and externally, they have to pay attention to the sustainability. They have to consider what kind of environmental and, and social impacts their businesses have. And this is also the area in, in which we would like to share our experience with you. Uh, both from the private sector and also for the public sector, because here we need the good public-private uh, cooperation in order to achieve this kind of sustainable uh, goals, which the United Nations, for example, has set to us as such. Next, please. And then doing business. Uh, it's pretty relevant that you can trust your business partner. And it's the case with Finland because we are the least corrupted county in the world, uh, among with Denmark and New Zealand. So if you are doing business and business contract with Finland, you can really trust that the Finns keep their business contracts. So in some other countries, it, it, it might be the case that the business contract is just a starting point for negotiation. But that's not the case with, with Finland. So if we have a business deal with you, you can trust that we can deliver our goods and services according to those uh, business deal. And, and, and Finns, they do not need or require any 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 bribery or corruption. So so 
this is very relevant for us because we have learned that the corruption and bribery are uh, causing uh, negative impacts on the business to the business and also to the whole society. So uh, this is very relevant and we are very proud to be the least corrupted country in the world and also the Finnish business is, is least uh, corrupted also in the, in the world economy as such. Next please. Next, okay. Uh, I have to say that that, that Africa uh, and I also assume that Finland is pretty unknown in, in your country. So still there's need to, to share information, uh, share information. What are the late, latest development in Zambia, latest development in Africa as a whole? What kind of business opportunities there are? Because uh, many Finns and Finnish companies do not understand and do not know as, as, as much as they should uh, the, the, the Zambia's market. So here the public and private sector have to cooperate with each other. And, and we also have to, to try to just change the old images uh, concerning the past and history. So there the homework are, are needed. So we have to share and, and, and cooperate and share information because the, sometimes the basic information from the Finnish side is missing concerning what kind of market the Zambia are, is. And that's why these kind of events are very relevant also for us. Next, please. According to the figures, uh, well, uh, uh, African countries, including Zambia, is not very top of our exporting importing partners. Uh, but uh, Zambia is doing pretty well according uh, uh, compared to the other other uh, uh, African countries. But still, there's need for plenty of, uh, of improvement. Mining, agri-tech, uh, education, ICT, infrastructure, energy has been mentioned about the areas where we are doing businesses and we would like to do also in the future businesses with you. Next, please. Next. Uh, as you can see, uh, the Finnish export to Zambia has not been developing so successful as, as we thought in the earlier uh, 2010s, 2011 was uh, to 2011 was was, was big uh, year. I, I don't exactly know what is behind that, but uh, there's need for improvement uh, for opening new doors for Finnish export to Zambia. And next one, please. Also, there are challenges related to the import uh, uh, Finnish imports from Zambia. Uh, from your perspective, the figures has been growing. So, so at, at least here's some positive trend going on. But, 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 but of, of course, uh, there's plenty of issues which we should do, which we, we should do in, in the long run and short term to, to, to activate our bilateral trade as such. Next, please. Next. To conclude, uh, doing Zambian uh, Finnish trade, uh, uh, I think that uh, one of the lessons that I have learned from, from, from many, many African uh, companies uh, uh, with discussing about doing business in Finland, that, that Finns need to be more understand uh, their role in supporting the local growth. And then there it's important that the, the, the both the, 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 the seller and the buyer has, has, has find that kind of a common consensus that why we cooperate uh, together so so and why we are building uh, our, our business activities on this uh, trade uh, of course or services so so need uh, for global uh, support to uh, local growth but at the same time uh, we should more understand our way of doing businesses so therefore it's important to to, to understand what are the interests of champions to do businesses? What are the interests of the Finns to do businesses? What kind of business cultures we have and, and, and how we can learn from each other? Uh, because it has to be a uh, win-win situation for, for both of us. And then also the Finns has been a bit, uh, bit uh, criticized by some African partners that, that, that we are not flexible enough to adopt our solutions to the local needs of, of, of different uh, uh, companies and an African society. So, so here, please uh, challenge the Finnish uh, partners if you feel that they are not uh, flexible enough because uh, 
uh, every time you need to find some kind of balance, balance solution to, to, to satisfy the, the local and, and, and especially the, the customers need as such. And of course, in, in, in every county, it's important to have good local partners as such. In a way or another, local partners are the ones who help you to understand the local realities and probably uh, also present your businesses in in, in an excellent way. And, and, and understand also the local challenges, which I was just earlier uh, referring. And next one, please. So, uh, from the fitness perspective and lesson of the COVID-19, I, I believe that it doesn't matter whether it's Africa, whether it's Europe, whether it's Zambia, whether it's Finland, the green and digital growth are the ones in which uh, all of the companies have to focus. And, and here, probably, we could find some, some new partnership with, 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 with your companies as such. As to sustainability, for example, in mining and product production are the one of the areas in which the Finns can offer you solutions. Uh, but at, at the same time, uh, there are good new initiatives going on, which are supporting uh, more businesses between uh, uh, our countries. EU and Finnish uh, Africa strategy are mainly focusing on, on, the, on the how to uh, strengthen the, the trade, uh, not so much about developing aid and developing cooperation, although that is also needed. But now it's coming to the more or less to the private sector to, to do their job and also adapt to the new services, goods and also financing, which the new strategies are offering to us. And despite of, of the COVID-19, I, I believe that, 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 that this example of this event also showed that virtually we can connect with each other and in, in the future it's easier for us to communicate and have different kind of business uh, meetings. Uh, but still in the, also in the new future we will need to uh, meet face to face time to time so 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 we need to adapt that kind of new way of of, of doing businesses the Finns uh, love to use the digital and virtual way of of, of dealing uh, with businesses but of course they are always uh, ready to come and visit you and see you face to face whenever there's need for that and then probably my 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 final slide or was this the final one Let's see. Next one, please. Okay, so uh, definitely. So my conclusion is that, that Finland is the best partner for you. They are big companies, but also the small and medium-sized companies, uh, uh, which uh, may be good partners for you. But the only case that we have to un understand each other's needs and also how we find that kind of win-to-win -win situation in 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 in, in, in successful way uh, uh, and therefore this kind of business weeks uh, give good opportunities to share information like that okay uh, this is this was my presentation and, and, and I'm happy to uh, answer uh, any question but I assume that it might be good to have a Birgitta's presentation and then together we could uh, tackle all the questions that uh, you would like to raise uh, after our presentation thank you yeah. Thank you, Timo. That was uh, excellent. Thank you very much. Um, yes, we, we have there's some good questions that have been coming through, and uh, we will save them until the till after Bergit's presentation. Um, but it was excellent to hear how uh, you know Finland is uh, is really uh, looking to to uh, progress and and continue to work with Africa. And it's great to see that uh, even you know, Zambia on on that slide of. Uh, the imports into Finland. We hope we can increase that. Okay, so let's uh, thank you uh, for that. Uh, let's. Um, we'll next up. We have, um, as I said, Bergit um, Nevala, who is the program director for for Fin Partnership. Um, I hope. Please give me a thumbs up if uh, if everything is. Uh, everyone is hearing everything okay so far. Hearing everything here. Uh, he's is hearing everything here. Excellent. All right, let me just tee up your uh, presentation, and then we can uh, go from from there. Hello, good day, everyone, uh, in Lusaka and in Zambia, and uh, all of you. Of course, if if there are Finns here too. This is relevant info for both, but we have also Nikke from us in the other room. So uh, my name is uh, Birgit Nevala and I'm the program director for Fin Partnership. Uh, fin Partnership is a, a program of Finnish Foreign Ministry and we are run by Fin Fund, which is a development uh, investor. 
And as Timo mentioned already, quite a lot about being the country of technology. I'm going to continue with this team a little bit, uh, leveraging innovation technology and business to create sustainable growth. I don't have the request, uh, so next slide, please. <laughs> yes, uh, Bergit, uh, you, you sent us a PDF, so I'll just slide it through, for, no problem for you. That's fine. So um, we are all online and we have seen a dramatic change. Uh, we, especially in Fin Partnership, we are in the, in the grassroots, in the middle of what companies are doing at the moment. And we have seen a giant uh, leapfrog in using uh, digital tools, uh, complete strangers from uh, one place of the world uh, and with another place of the world can meet and, and, and build confidence nowadays with digital tools. And I can tell you that this was still not possible in, in 2019. Next, please. Uh, so, uh, from FIN partnership, we support about 100 projects every year. We are a tool in the middle of development aid and commercial, commercial projects. So, our financing is grant. And uh, with Zambia, we have had uh, quite uh, little projects, not so many per year. Uh, we have channeled something like 2.5 million altogether to projects in Zambia. But like you, like you saw TESPAC and Biosorbio, for example, we have, we have been there uh, with those kind of projects. And of course, we are looking for more. It, it looks like here that there's a big uh, distance between Finland and Zambia, but nowadays uh, we are just away from you. and. Uh, every person in the world can meet anyone but i will tell you also uh even though it's possible for you to make the connection uh, to finnish company yourself we also have free of charge way to do that connection uh with you together so we don't need to mind the uh geographical distance so much next please This is a picture from Finland, and as, as, you, as Timo also mentioned already, we have a lot of forests. So uh, what happened uh, and has happened with, with COVID, uh, it has been also a sort of natural development for Finns also. We are used to distances and we are not so densely po populated at all. Timo also mentioned that, that uh, we are scattered, scattered around uh, this country, five million people. So it has always also been quite uh, logical to use the technology to communicate. And uh, it is, we still use a lot of uh, communication uh, with emails, for example. So if you do get an email from a Finnish company, they are usually serious. And uh, this picture you can also Imagine uh, being in Finland and being a Finn in that sense that this person alone in the forest, he is most likely in his happy place where nobody's telling him what to do or how to be. He can be just there himself. And this, of course, is very different from happy place of uh, African cultures usually. But it's good to keep in mind also this picture when you uh, deal with Finns. Next, please. So uh, I have heard a lot about uh, talks, uh, especially among African diaspora, that you want to build Africa you want. And we have seen that development here in Finland. Uh, we have pretty much built the Finland we want. So as Timo also, also mentioned already about happiest country and uh, ranking very high in this uh, uh, international indexes and a uh, safe country, least fragile country, uh, high in press freedom, and of course, uh, exploiting digitalization. Next, please. Uh, 
but as as we see in this picture here, uh, it has not been a case for for very long time in Finland. Uh, this you already heard that our independence see, is not uh, that old, a little over hundred years now. And in this picture, you see a painting of Eero Järnefeld. Uh, the forests were the only thing we actually had after the wars, and we had to build our nation from the scratch, uh, 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 literally. And uh, it's amazing to know that uh, some areas, for example, in Finland, uh, they got electricity in houses even as late as 1970s. So innovation, education, they were very important. And this is what we see now in Finland. Uh, high technology, high education, uh, no one is left behind, uh, equality uh, between gender. But we need good partners. How can we grow among us here, 500, five, 5 million uh, people? So uh, there is a whole big world and uh, we need to go there with you, with somebody who knows, for example, Africa. And that's why we need good partners. And how do we do that? Next, please. So, uh, Fin Partnership offers matchmaking service. Then, if you go on our website, we have advice and guidance there. For example, if you want to export something to Finland, you find uh, market reports and contacts. How to how to make contact in Finnish buyers. And then we have this business partnership support financing, which is for commercial projects in Zambia through the Finnish company. So if you are a Zambian company, now it is, it is good to start with matchmaking, to find a partner first, and then of course it accelerates your opportunities to get a partner when we can be there for you with our financing. Next, please. To learn more about uh, our matchmaking service, it is free of charge and it is open all the time on our web pages. And we have a public uh, matchmaking database where Finnish companies can uh, search for partners. We have right now about, 100, uh, um, about 500 companies there, not so many from Zambia. So, uh, we, there's room for more. Next, please. So it's quite easy to apply into matchmaking. There are four pages you need to fill in. Uh, what is really important is for you to define some sort of project or, or some sort of sector, some sort of activity where uh, you need the partner. What are you offering or what are you looking for? If you just uh, Things, then it's very difficult for Finn to uh, get to the picture. What is this company about? And uh, this is very good uh, to keep in mind when when you fill in the applications to match. Me. Next, please. But we uh, we have uh, just four minutes left of the session. Yes, um, great, and then we can just take a couple of questions. Yes, uh, we can skip to the next one. So this is, yeah, the, the, the previous one was the web page where you find the matchmaking. And this is also the market reports that I already mentioned. Next, please. And uh, about the grant, a couple of words. It is for long term business partnerships like in investments in Zambia. For SMEs, it's 70% of the first steps, and for large companies, it is 50%. But the applicant must be Finnish company. Next one, please. Uh, here you see the supportable uh, project phases. So uh, the financing can be uh, used in very, very first steps. How to find the partner, make the feasibility study, make the um, market studies in general, feasibility 
studies and employee training are also uh, included in here in the grant. Next, please. So here you see our team, we are here for you. And uh, when you apply to matchmaking, you fill in the pages on our webpage, Juho Korkia Koski, who you see under matchmaking, he's uh, taking your uh, application in. Thank you very much. And about the uh, booster tomorrow, other companies in, Zam uh, in, in Zambia on mining sector and related, please join our SDG booster where we build together new projects tomorrow at one o'clock. Thank you very much. Thank you, Birgit uh, and uh, Timo. That was uh, two excellent uh, presentations. I, I, uh, I'm excited about uh, perhaps starting a business and coming to Finland myself now. Um, very great. Uh, we had some really good questions in the chat. Um, and please do keep sending them in, but uh, we only have a couple of minutes before we have to return to the main room. But the um, we had, uh, yes, the NACU, the, the uh, slides would be available. Uh, one question was, how easy is it for Zambian companies to open an office in Finland? Timo, maybe that's for you. Well, uh, well, first of all, uh, it's easy to office in fin uh, it's easy to open an office in Finland because uh, Finns uh, always appreciate uh, foreign investors and actors here of course there are certain kind of uh, rulings and certain kind of procedures uh, but uh, op opening office is it's not the challenging the challenge might be also to opening the bank account because then you have to approve for the Finnish banks that who is behind your organization and some of the foreign companies has faced some challenges there so you have to prove that you are not related to the uh, money lounge or terrorist finance or something like that uh, uh Birgit probably could add something but then there was also a question uh, concerning how to access to the european food market and here i always say that there's a european supply chains and bulls uh, and you have to satisfy the european high food standards so so that's the way through the different kind of european bulls you can enter to the Finnish market. It's very seldom that there's a export import of the food sector to agricultural products uh, from from one private actor to another one. And then about comment concerning the rich uh, rich uh, uh, or the not so flexible Finns. Yeah, that's the issue which I also mentioned that we have to learn the, how to be flexible with the African customers. But Bridget probably have something to add. Not really. This is very uh, good answer about. I think establishing your business in, in Finland. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. And uh, just so you know as well, uh, AGS um, has that launch program, which we mentioned uh, in, in the presentation earlier, where we want to support Zambian businesses looking to enter into Finland. So if you are looking to enter, uh, we can support you with a uh, consultant who can help you to land in Finland and uh, get established. So please do check uh, also the AGS uh, website. Um, a, there was a question about the website links. Uh, Baragit, you had that extensive list of website links and uh, Toprazani is also asking for that. We'll make sure that's available. Uh, but finally, maybe uh, the last question, maybe for now, um, it was around insects and edible insects. Uh, is there a market for that in uh, Finland? Some people thought that it's a really big market at some point, for example, grasshoppers. But uh, I, I guess many people have been a little bit disappointed with that. So it's not looking as good as, uh, as it used to be with insects. Timo, are, are insects one of your uh, regular dietary... Uh... <laughs> uh not directly but i think that the insects might be part of the raw materials which we are producing for different kind of uh food products in order to tackle the protein uh, aspect there so we may in the future eat insects without knowing and that's probably the best way to to eat them without knowing that you are eating the insect as such so it, it will take some time well i'm a, I'm a big fan of mapani worms here in zambia 
and I can tell you they're very tasty. And uh, yes, but uh, no, for, for human consumption, but then also I think you know, animal feed, there's a, a big market that potential. So uh, yeah, let, let's uh, keep these conversations going. I think you know, uh, the, the contact details are, will be available for, for Brigitte and Timo. And uh, we look forward to engaging with all of the Zambian businesses further to help you enter into, into Finland. So please get in touch with us and we look forward to working with you all. Our time has come up for this session, so uh, I would request that you all click uh, return to the uh, main room and uh, we'll uh, get ready for those who are looking at the uh, interested in the SICE panel. Thank you all so much, we'll speak to you all soon. Thank you. Thank you.